Welcome back, Dr. Paul and Anaba, uh, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, joins us next. <laughs> Thank you for coming on this morning. Well, uh, this is an interesting uh, scenario, taking yeah. a look at the arrest of judges. There's been a lot of hue and cry, even from uh, practitioners out there. Is there anything wrong with the arrest? Maybe we should have started with um, the issue of corruption and all that. Yeah, we'll, we'll get there. We're still dwelling on that, but I, a lot of people think that there's something wrong. But is there anything wrong? Well, there are issues that I would that have arisen because, uh, from the arrest. Um, several people have taken several sides, but the law is very clear. Um, the Administration of Criminal Justice uh, Act uh, is clear as to what happens. Um, you can arrest judges. Um, they don't have immunity. But um, this is the first time this type of operation has taken place in Nigeria. So you should expect that um, people will take it just like an elephant from where they, and the blind men, from where they touch. Generally speaking, it is not um, illegal or lawful to arrest a judge or judges. And you can arrest at any time? Yes, under that's the, what the criminal justice act says. If you have, if you have warrant, warrant, you can arrest at any time. But you must know that there is a law and that is the spirit of the law. And the question you will ask is, even though everyone can be arrested, if the framers of the AC, the, the AC um, Administration of Criminal Justice Act, you know, did they envisage that it should be used in the manner it was used now on Supreme Court judges and very superior judges? Is that the intention of that law? I don't understand. I mean, is it not supposed to be used on anyone who is suspected to have flattered the law or who has a case to answer? Yeah, I, including the judges. Get the point I want making. The point I'm making is, um, you can make a law, you can make laws, but the, the the implementation and interpretation of those laws are what leads to amendments, provisos, exceptions. Strictly interpreting the law as it is through the Administration of Criminal Justice Act. There is, except you have immunity, you can be arrested. And if there is a warrant, you can be arrested at any time. That's the point. The question I have raised is, the, the framers of that law, would they have envisaged that it will be used in the manner it was used a few days ago? Those are the issues that would have led to um, the discussion all over the country. Okay, could you break it down a little further? In what way or manner was it carried out that they didn't have a sage that they may need to correct if anything was wrong? You know, um, I don't want to go into the argument of what a sting operation and all that is. You've had so much of that. You... Assuming you are a judge, you were one of those judges, you were asleep. And suddenly there is this bang. You have never witnessed that before. Even, even when there are neighbors, how are you going to look at it? How will people look at it? Okay? I know there are arguments that, oh, uh, assuming someone is committing an offense, you can, uh, you will arrest immediately and all that. So, those are the points I'm making. Um, perhaps in the subsequent operations of government agencies, they would have also learned from this particular operation. So, um, the idea is not. I'm, I'm not condemning the act. The, the, the operation. I am saying, but because it was the first time this line of operation had gone, 
uh, in subsequent times I'm sure the agencies will uh, want to do it a bit differently. You see, um, the, 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 there's, there's a proverb in my place. I've had many lawyers talking about this issue. So there's a proverb in my place. The the uh, cock used to have something on the head, a red looking thing on the head. So that's a comb. The comb, yeah. So the kite used to carry the carry the cock, and other when the kite comes and sees that red, it, it gets afraid. It doesn't. He spares the other chicken and the hen and all that. The, the, the hen, the chicken, say, ah, okay, you, you should be our friend. Don't be afraid. Don't, come close. Look at this thing. There's nothing in it. And the kite came and touched it. He said that it was, saw that there was nothing on it. He doesn't kill anybody. Okay. And went and each day the kite now comes and carries what the chicken who knew what was going on and those who didn't know. We will fight corruption. Corruption is bad. There is corruption in the judiciary, but it shouldn't be done as a blanket thing. Very many of our judges are responsible. Very many. Very many of them. And we have very many lawyers who are responsible, who have integrity. We also have many that are lack integrity because the judges and the lawyers. Without pronouncing anyone guilty, but uh, yeah. the uh, DSS and the government has come up to say that they have facts, and perhaps maybe uh, some of these people are among the few bad ones. It's possible. It's, it's, it's possible. That's not. That's what we're saying. I'm a practitioner. Many of the people who have been making comments are not even don't even go near the courts. It's just a uh, conjecture. I, I I started practice from from junior to one room to order to this level, so I understand the 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 the, the, the what the judiciary and what the practice has done. By As a lawyer, yes. Have you ever been frustrated thinking that you were just going to be victorious at the end of the case? You know how to say it. Beyond all reasonable doubt, you have your facts and you've been able to lay them there out and when judgment comes you go oh my god this is not it it happens for many lawyers and particularly those of us who spend all the time in research and preparing for our cases now we should not because of that you know when you get to the court hall courtroom how do you feel does it look like a disco room no. You look at the Crown Court in England, the old court in Lagos, you have some awe that this is a place, a sacred place, a hallowed place for justice. That's what it should be. Those are some of the things we should watch, even though we are fighting corruption. So that um, if, uh, if the place now lacks that red horn, it will be looked like I was in the justice system. There's nothing in it. But it should it's, 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 that message. So those who are making the message to go down in terms of being corrupt, oh, it's not only corruption that's affecting the judiciary. It is, you talk about corruption. We also talk about incompetence, lack of devotion and commitment. You can go to, a, to some courts uh, all the way and tell you the court is not sitting. And the court will sit by 12. I think, one I, 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 think, I think for the others who would fall within the purview of the NJC, but this one, you know how so many people have come up to say uh, a corrupt judge is worse than, well, a gun touching criminal uh, because of what uh, his statement and his comment and even hitting the gavel can do to any human or society. I, I agree. Looking at this case in point, uh, I, I'm going back to it, and it's good that you are uh, a, a researcher in the legal profession as well. Some have come up to also say that uh, when it comes to warrant of arrest, that there is a time limit or frame whereby you can 
execute uh, a warrant of arrest uh, 6 a.m. in the morning till about 6 p.m. So what happens between 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. the next day? Well, um, that, you know, like I, I said, the law continues to develop. That's not the position of the law now. That law is not the present position of the law. The ACJ, Section 12, the whole of Chapter 18, deals with warrants. You can arrest at any time. But the point is, when you are going to arrest a Supreme Court judge by the midnight, irrespective, that's why I was talking about the spirit of the law, irrespective of the provision of the law, what message does it send? You don't think the, the message is for those other corrupt ones who are also in the bad books to say, hey, come on. If, if that, if that, uh, if the that, chicken has come on if to roost. That's what I'm saying, that maybe in future, the security agencies will do certain things a bit differently. Because um, when you are taking the medicine, a medical doctor that knows his audience will be telling you that every medicine has a side effect. You have to weigh the side effect along with their medical advantage and decide whether it is better to give that medicine. There are many ways. Recently, the NGSC, for example, dismissed some judges or recommended them for dismissal and one for prosecution. And you, we, we, we will not um, eliminate every vice one day. In America, is the well, UK or that you still have... Can, can, can the NJC... There are that? ways that that can be achieved. Are you with me? There are ways that that, that can be achieved. Perhaps, at least with the NJC now stepping up to, now beginning to recommend uh, judicial officers for uh, prosecution. Have you wondered why judicial officers are placed on a different salary uh, uh, scale, uh, the, the, the salaries are guaranteed. There is some, the spirit of the law is to give them some degree. Let, let, of, let, let uh, me uh, come in here, uh, Sir yes. Chamberlain. Now that you have mentioned the NJC, uh, body of eminent uh, legal minds, if what is going on now, uh, an advice comes from the federal government with overwhelming evidence beyond reasonable doubt against any of the judges and perhaps some others that have not been arrested and asking the NJC to act perhaps to suspend them or dismiss them. Should the NJC listen to such advice? The NJC is presented over by the Chief Justice of the Federation and the NJC will definitely act on evidence. The point is that today the blame is heaped so much on the judiciary. It's not only the judiciary that is our problem. And I give you an example. The NJC has recommended him many times that a judge be removed. That's where they will stop. The political players may not go, with, go that way. They have recommended that a judge be reinstated, and the political players said no, and they did not. Those go to affect the efficiency of the uh, NJC. I think that NJC should now be, it should now sit up. The government should give them all that is required to ensure that issues of discipline are not allowed to linger in the at the bench. Okay. Well, there, there are several other items that we will need to consider, but yes. we'll do that when we return in just a moment. Yes. Do join us again.